Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Mario and today I am more fit at 50. Stick around. Hey everyone, it's Mario, August 23rd, 2019. And today I am more fit at 50. That's right, today I turned 50 years old and I've probably never been in better shape in my life. Sorry to Instagram users, this is gonna be cut short, so I suggest that you hit Facebook or my video on YouTube later on. But yes, today I turned 50, and uh, who would have thought this journey would take me here today? Uh, it's raining out this morning, but I still went for my run, and uh, I made record times today. I don't know if it's just frame of mind, I'm 50, new day, but uh, just over four miles and over four and a half, close to, I'm uh, sorry, over, over six and a half kilometers, getting close to six and three quarter, six and three quarter kilometers. Uh, when I started this journey, I was, uh, you know, 244.4 pounds at my highest. That's uh, January 15th when I decided to make a change. Uh, here we are, uh, August 23rd, and as of yesterday, I was well over 75 pounds down. I think 77 point something, and today I expect to be lower just because the way I've been changing my diet. So maybe even 78 pounds down. When I started this, I'd say, hey, fit at 50. I thought I made that up. Of course I didn't, but uh, I thought I did. I want to lose 50 pounds by 50. Well, look at me, 50, and I'm down 77 pounds. Uh, I'm eating better, I'm not snacking, not eating junk food, not be eating between meals, going for runs every morning, and it gets hard, really hard. And, uh, but I do it, um, mostly for me. I do it for my daughter too, but, because uh, I want to be around for a very long time. Uh, but, uh, you know, today I have to decide what I want to do on my birthday. Do I want cake? Nope, not going to have cake. I consider, you know, you should have a bite or a sliver like on my daughter's birthday I did. Stuff like that. But, uh, don't feel like it. Maybe I'll do something. I got some keto ice cream. I'll have a, a scoop. That's all. I'd be like one carb of my rebel ice cream. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, I was thinking what to do, you know, midlife price, yes, ah, maybe I'll go out and buy like a, a Jeep Wrangler or something like that, or maybe I'll just rent one for a day or a week, something like that, something different, something fun, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my day today, um, it is raining, so again, I can't work on the garage because i got to take everything out of the garage, and with the rain, I cannot do that, uh, what else, uh, you know, when I started this, today's actually marks like 220 days that I've been doing this. Um, when I started to, I know, see if I can't pop the chart up on the YouTube video. You know, my weight kind of came down slowly in that swoop. And that's the way it was from January to June 23rd. June 23rd was when I started running. When I started running, instead of that gradual swoop, it started beelining down. Because obviously now I'm getting my cardio in. And, uh... I have uh, been monitoring my, and so I've been jogging for two months now, and in that two months I've dropped probably, you know, another 20 pounds. Uh, so it's everything, you know, it can't be just be one thing. Watching what I eat, now I say I do, I'm doing keto, a semi-keto, a dirty keto. I don't follow keto strictly. Uh, so people see me post things and say, hey, that's not keto, yes. Keto, if you look it up, it's just very, very specific. That's why I say I do semi or dirty keto, because things like cheese are processed and I eat cheese. I do eat cold cuts once in a blue moon, uh, and uh, sweet Italian sausage or kielbasa, you know, those are all processed foods. Uh, so that's where I am today. Uh, 50 years old, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do for my midlife crisis if I, have one. I feel like doing something different today. We'll find out wearing my uh, four symbol uh, sports hat. Anyway, uh, I know this was kind of a long video and I want to incorporate this on YouTube later if I can, along with a couple other tidbits which I can't say on Facebook, otherwise they ban you. You know, it's happened before. Uh, and Instagram users, again, by now you're not hearing any of this, but. Um, I'm hoping you will check out my YouTube video later. Uh, I'll make a note of it. 
post it. Hopefully you guys can get there and see what's going on. Anyways, folks, remember, this is not something I could have imagined doing. Uh, uh, you know, it's just, it's crazy. I still think, think back of what I've accomplished. So, you know, 220 days, it's a long time. But look at me now, I was wearing XXL shirts. Now I'm wearing medium. I just ordered 34 pants and they fit me. I found my father's a tailor. He uh, fixed up the length on the leg. So even the 36s I just bought back in uh, May or June, they're too big now. So sad that I wasted more money, but in a good way. But uh, remember folks, just start. You know, it's one day at a time. That's what I did. And uh, just remember folks, if I could do it, you could do it. Have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you soon. Thanks a lot for your support. And now for the winners of the Gotham Steel CRISPR tray. We have Sarah and Howard. I've reached out to them, and I'm hoping to hear back from them soon. Otherwise, we will pick alternate winners. I used a freebie program out there that just randomly picked a comment that said that someone wanted to win something, and uh, those two were chosen. So thank you very much for your support, and I will see you soon.